Welcome to Get Offset. Have I ever told you, you have beautiful eyes. You really do. Man, the color, it just works with the rest of your face. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. They're just jealous. They're tripping. I'm here with the honest to God truth. But my name is Emily. This is Get Offset. And I'm going to talk to you today about the iRig Stream Pro. It's this thing that you're looking at to the side of me right here. And it's also what you're listening to this through because for the first time ever, I'm routing the audio from a demo directly through to my phone. That's right. The part of me that you look at that's actually looking at me, looking at you, is um, that's my phone. That's my iPhone. This is, this is the truth. And normally I end up routing that through Stair, uh, Studio One, Panda Studio One. And um, I do all the audio in that and I sync them up and that's what I do. Um, but I've been doing a lot more TikTok videos, some live streams, and I've been wanting to live stream on TikTok, but you can't do that from your computer. At least most of us can't. So I wanted an option that would enable me to do some live streams on TikTok with with music, with instrumentation. And the iStream, uh, the iRig Stream Pro allows you to do that. It's a really simple device and I'm gonna talk about it um, just a little bit. So what I'm doing right now is I am routing audio from the back of my uh, PreSonus, PreSonus uh, Studio 1810C, um, and we'll go over here. We can see I'm going through the line out three and four, and uh, that's what I have chosen. Um, and it's going into the left and right input on the iRig Stream Pro. Uh, the N, I'm going in through just my stereo in the back. And I haven't uh, set up like an amplifier or anything for my GNL Telecaster yet. I'm gonna do that here in a second. But um, my microphone is set up. You're hearing my normal, my normal uh, blue mic. It's um, a Spark SL. And uh, you're gonna hear the guitar in a second. Right now, that's all the way turned down. I can still use my normal faders to turn the volume down all the way there like I just did. Um, I actually have the fader port, so I'll probably end up controlling it there a little bit more during the demo. You can also control it here. Uh, and you can see the colors, low, okay, or high. So it'll tell you if you're getting into clipping territory or if you're there. Um, it also has a loopback feature, but my Studio 10C has a loopback. Uh, 1810C has uh, a loopback feature as well. So let's look, you can also, let, let, there, there are multiple inputs. So you can also, let, let, I wanna talk about the features first before you hear everything, cause it's just gonna sound like music, right? So I have my input left and right. So right now I'm using the interface, but you could also use like a, a Helix or an a HX Stomp or something like that. A Strymon Iridium has a stereo out and you can use a microphone and instrument out. And I also wanna demonstrate that. So I'll probably do that a little bit later, maybe in a separate video. And you can control the volumes on those separate inputs separately. You would also have on the other side of this device uh, separate volume controls for a headset microphone if you wanted to do that. So that makes this really a versatile unit. Um, you can see the loop back, you can turn direct monitor on and off. You can even use phantom power with this thing. Uh, it can run off of batteries. Um, there's also a DC in, direct current in. Unfortunately, it did not come with cables for that. It did also did not come with these 
are CA plugs. Um, it only comes with the plugs to go into different phones. I also find those to be a little bit on the short side, uh, so that is not uh, supremely ideal, um, especially if you have a kind of a short cable run for your headphones. So, you know, not the best in, in that regard, but not the worst. So I'm not complaining about that. Um, I did have to pay about $14 uh, for these cables. Not complaining. Um, all right, so let's get in to some sounds. I'm gonna turn up my guitar. Oh, you can hear it. That's just a completely direct sound. So let's pull Empire in here and maybe get a clean kind of guitar-ish sound. Ooh, I don't like that. Obviously, I practiced a lot for this demo. So I could hear through my in-ears my computer sound. I don't know if you could hear that. I don't know if that'll be in the recording. I really hope not. That happened with a live stream I did the other day, and it made sense because I was playing through a backing track that I then routed intentionally through the loopback feature on my Presona, my Presona Studio 1810C. Um, I don't really want it to happen right now, but so if that is like continuous, that's kind of a bummer. Um, so yeah, I think this is fine. <laughs> of a lot of moods. Obviously, I was practicing what song I was playing. Just kidding, I was absolutely not even thinking about it. You can put a limiter just to be on the safe side. So I don't, because I don't really want to clip. Cool. Uh, we can add some effects. Chorus sounds nice. Change the wave shape form. And that's one of the cool, that's, the thing is that I, I like about this is that if I wanted in stream, I don't have to plug in any pedals or effects. I can really just go in through some plugins, you know? Like that, man. Nice. Uh, and let's get a delay on it as well. Should we get an analog delay? Time. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, hmm. No. Uh, oh, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. There it lives forever. So that's 
the gist of uh, kind of what you can do there. And um, for when I'm actually playing, I can just cut my vocals entirely so you don't hear any of the of the noise from my breathing, which is often kind of, I'm a loud breather when I play. I'm gonna be completely honest. I, you know, you, you gotta breathe. And you, you know, I was clipping there a little bit because I was talking so loudly. I'm a, a bit of a loud breather when I play because breathing's very important. Um, but sometimes it's caught up in a microphone and then you're like, oh, I ruined my whole take with my stupid breathing. So then I hold my breath and then I fuck up. I mean, so then I hold my breath and then I mess up the take. Um, and it's, uh, it, it really bumps me out. So I can just cut my vocals completely and then you don't hear my breathing. You don't hear the sound of the pick raking the string. And then I can turn myself up when I'm ready to talk again. So that's really that's really something that I like a lot. Um, having a lot of control, you can instantly, uh, allegedly instantly mute everything for the micro microphone instrument input there. Obviously nothing's plugged in. Um, so that way, if you had a separate microphone, um, I like the indicator light too. So if you had a separate microphone there for just when you were playing, um, which is smart. So like if I had the uh, Iridium, um, or a pod go or something and that was my instrument I had a separate microphone which is really a great idea you could uh, have that um, just easily a lot more easily than hitting a fader I think or uh, going over here and you know um, muting yourself. So that, I, I, I think this is just, it's, it's very intuitive. It's essentially plug and play. I was floored Lord, with how easy it was to set up. So um, that is a little bit of how I've been using this with an interface. So um, check it out. They're available on Sweetwater. Please consider using our affiliate code. Um, I'm going to try this with a few other setups um, over, uh, maybe, uh, let me... Um, let me let me get that set up. I um, am going to what am I? I'm going to do the iridium. So uh, stay tuned. I am going to set up the iridium and um, my Spark SL microphone. So I'm not going to put any effects into the iridium. I'm just going to get the iridium. I'm going to get my Spark SL. Test out the phantom power on this thing. Test out the mute on this thing. Most importantly. I think the one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to try this um, mic'd up with an actual amplifier. Um, that sounds like a great idea. I, I, I can imagine on, like using that. Um, and I probably will eventually do it with like the Tone Master. But for, for me personally, in my own use cases for this 90% of the time, I'll also want to be talking while I do the streaming, because that's so important in streaming, is having a connection with people. Um, obviously, with an iRig, you don't also need to be, like, this doesn't just, you don't have to just be streaming for this. Obviously, I'm not streaming right now. I am pre-recording this. So, you it works in any video app. It's not just TikTok, Twitch, YouTube Live, 
whatever, Instagram Live, Reels, etc. You can film videos within your video app. That's what I'm doing right now. So that's pretty neat. So let me go ahead, um, change the cables that I'm using, and uh, I'll be right back. I have to unplug myself. Okay. All right. So, uh, it works great with an SM47. I, this isn't the first time I've had trouble with, um, a microphone, um, that required phantom power where with, with something like this, where it shouldn't have had trouble. Uh, so I'm, yeah, I, I don't know really what's going on there. Uh, so let's try the mute. <laughs> and that works great. So, um, yeah, let me, obviously it sounds a skosh distorted because I have the microphone gain up. All, I had that up all the way. So, I mean, that's just how that's going to sound. And the volume up all the way. Um, being able to control those two things separately, the RCA and the microphone, is going to be super duper helpful. Um, you you couldn't see probably on the Iridium very well, um, but when I was playing that, it had uh, the level on the Iridium was actually qu down down quite low. So uh, let me just try to Jerry. Maybe I can Jerry rig like a little SM50. Nope, can't Jerry rig it. Abort. Abort the jerry-rigged mic stand. Oh, at least in that direction. I'm doing great. All right. Over here, though. SM57 mic stand jerry-rigged. Jerry-rigged. Going to plug this back in because it wasn't the problem. both at the same time and see if it works. It works. But I'm off the side of the microphone. It's kind of strange. You look half of the Man, I can't sing with two in ears. Hold on. It's kind of strange. judge me I I'm not a singer if you see my ma demo you know if you've 
Ah, oh, shoot. If you've seen my mod demo, you know I'm not a singer. You know that. You know that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the RCA volume all the way down because I can do that. And then you'll hear nothing. You hear nothing. Um, because that is how that is it working the way it's supposed to. I rig Stream Pro. I give it an 8 out of 10. Um, because it did not seem, the phantom power just didn't seem to work. Uh, I don't know if it's because I was using batteries and not um, the DC adapter that it did not come with. So it didn't come with like a DC power. Uh, so that's um, weird. Yeah, I wish it did. Um, and so that's one point gone. And then um, negative one point for not coming with the RCA cables slash um, the cables that go to your phone being a skosh on the short side. So um, otherwise, like this is like, this gets the job done. Um, wow, did my camera move like a lot? Huh. So uh, otherwise this gets the job done. Um, plug and play very seamless. Uh, if, if what, the video ends up sounding like is how it sounds in my ears. I'd say, oh. This might be one of the microphones that I bought um, from a reverb auction from the guitarist uh, from Mazzy Star. That was one that needed to work. Um, so mark your microphones when they're broken. So, um, if this is how it sounds in the way it sounds in my ears is monitoring is how it sounds in the video. I'm going to be really pleased uh, with it from a streaming perspective. Um, as for my demos, I'm obviously just going to keep filming them the way I had been in studio one. I prefer, you know, being able to mute and duck the audio manually between talking uh, and things like that, having a little bit more control over uh, volume levels, especially. That's what's most important to me um, in terms of filming. But otherwise, I highly recommend this product. Um, check out my affiliate link uh, for Sweetwater. It's in the video description. Um, they're not, you, there are other versions of this as well. I like this one for having the options for the different inputs. Um, there's again, several different types of iRig products. They've been making them for years and I've been buying them for years. So, uh, yes, yeah, Sweetwater did send me this to demo. So thank you, Sweetwater. Um, yeah, but for all of you out there, it's been lovely to see you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, until next time, my name is Emily. Goodbye.